Okay, YouTube, here we go. I got my DIY portable system here. I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos, but uh, if you haven't, go ahead and click on the my uh, nameplate on the video thing, and you can go to my channel, and you can see how this is actually built. So what we're going to do today is we're going to compare this home-built one to the Gold Zero Yeti 1250. <clears throat> so we'll see what the comparisons are between this and buying a Gold Zero for two grand versus building something like this for about seven, eight hundred bucks. So right now, I'm running a uh, beer fridge off this one. Just so you know, I am running 300 watts of panels. I have this tied into a home-built system right now, but it is a portable system. It is on wheels. It unclicks, comes out. Watch the other videos and see how I do it. When I go portable, I take a 100-watt solar panel with me and I charge it off a 100-watt solar panel. Right now, I'm running pull this up I'm running the beer fridge off it right now and I'm drawing 239 watts off of this thing right now and I'm sitting at 12.8 volts right now so let's get into this real quick like doo -doo -doo -doo. here we go I'll just give you the lowdown on what's going on here so with the goal zero Basically, it's a 1250 watt, right? Two grand. So what do you get? You get 100 amp hour battery inside that thing. They're gonna give you a 30 watt solar panel. So, fantastic, right? Then you're gonna get, if they, these people take them all the way down. Well, ran right down to 70%, the discharge, 80% discharge, and plug it back in. You're killing the battery, killing the battery. <clears throat> so 50%, you're going to get 625 watt hours out of that thing, right? And if they give you the one panel, that's 165 watts a day, right? <laughs> that's going to take you, but 30 watt panel is going to take you four full days to recharge that 50%. It's going to take you four days to recharge it, right? So let's say you go out and you spend more money. You buy three panels. Now you got a whole whopping 90 watts. So you can produce 495 watts per day, right? 495 watts a day, but you're still taking out 625 watts at 50%. So that's going to take you 1.5 days to recharge it. That's, that's crap. So people sit there and they plug it in, you run the wattage off that thing. It's going to take you forever to recharge it. And every time you want to upgrade it, you know, you got to buy their panels because they have these little cheesy wires that plug into it and everything. It's just not feasible to run <clears throat> and the cost is going to get outrageous if you look down here at mine right I have 150 amp hours worth of batteries in there so I get 800 or 1875 watts versus the 1250 so there's an increase 50 percent if I was to take mine down to 50 percent which I wouldn't but I could use 938 watt hours when you look up here they're only getting 625. That's a drastic difference right there. If I had run the 625, which I'm going to get more if I only take mine down 35%, I could still get 656 watt hours. And I'm only at 35% discharge. Now with my portable 100 watt solar panel, I can get 550 watts a day. So obviously I'm not going to fill it if I take it down to there. I would only take it down to maybe 25% or whatever. You want to stay in that range. So, the home-built system that I have set up here to home to use it all the time, or the Yetis you're not going to use all the time, but the home-built one that I have plugged in, I have 300 watts. So I produce 1,650 watts a day. That's what I'll produce off this one, on what's set up here right now, using it at my home, actually using the power. So it's going to take me to recharge. Let's say I use my home system, and I run down, like I'm a stupid guy, and I run to 938. It's going to take me six hours to put all that back in, charge it back up to full, and then I'll have extra power sitting on the side. So I can charge this thing back up. Even if I drain 50% out of it, the first six hours of the day, I'm going to charge it back up. With my portable system, and I go portable, I have a 100 watt solar panel. It's going to take me two days to recharge that power, right? So if I drag that much out of it, I'm going to take two days of no power draw off it to actually put all the power back in. If you look up here with their little 30 watt panel, they're going to take four days 
So for four days, you can't even use this thing. And you're just going to be recharging, recharging, recharging. So, you know, for way less of the cost. And then for me, I just go buy, I spend $100. And I put another 100 watt panel on this thing, call it a day. But I mean, I'm only, I'm only going to take that out of it. Not the, the great big whopping amount that they're going to take out of it. And you see these people, they, they sit there and they run it down to where it's 20% battery capacity left and then they charge it back up but you're killing the batteries on that thing that thing's not going to last you because you're just draining the batteries all the way down and charging them back up so here's another little sneak peek you got going on here so right now oh let's show you this so i don't know if you can see that but i'm at 12.6 volts and i'm taking out 237 watts right now so if I turn that off shut it down now my voltage comes flying back up so right now I'm back up at 13 volts instantly coming right back up 13 1 this is off by 1 so it's actually going up 13 2 right now I'm bringing in 9.2 amps 9 amps coming in. It's a real cloudy day right now. It's like overcast and not really getting great sun. Try that with a Yeti. See how many amps you're going to pull back in. See how fast your thing charges back up. This thing just charges right back up. 13.7. Here we go. Charging right back up. Now I go ahead and turn that back on again. As you can see, put it back over the watts. Now I'm back up at 243 watts, 242 watts, because I'm running a refrigerator over there. This is a commercial industrial beer refrigerator. That's why you're looking at it drawing so much, because it's actually industrial. It's not like one of these little home jobbers. And now I drop back down. It's hard to see these things. But I'm down at, uh, maybe this one's easier to see. So now I went down to 13.1 when I was at 13.7 a minute ago. And to cover my load, I'm still drawing 9.3, 9.2 amps. So that's covering not all of the load, but it's covering a pretty good bit of the load. And then when I turn that thing off, when it shuts off, it comes flying right back up. A Yeti with a 30 watt solar panel? Really? You're going to get 1.5 amps max out of that thing. That's nothing, nothing compared to what you can do here with your home built one. Now, the other thing is, this one here, obviously, you see I'm running power at my house. I'm running different things on this. The Yeti, what people do when they get this gold zero job, what do you do with it? Well, if you look at it, the wiring and cabling and all the crap they give you, super tiny. Think junk. It's tiny. You can't put that much power on it. The cables are small and everything else. They're preying off of the people. I'm not going to badmouth them. You know, everything has its place, right? This is for people who, if you're watching this video, you're a do-it-yourselfer. You're going to go out and build something. You're going to make something that's actually worthwhile. The Yeti, the people buy these things. So what do they do? They plug them into their wall at their house. So I plug that thing into the wall. Well, is that doing anything for you? No, because now what you're doing is you're charging that battery, waiting for something to happen. So the whole time you're taking more power. You're actually running your bill up instead of taking and using it to to take power off your bill, you're running it up because you're charging it all day, plugged into the wall, waiting for an emergency. So let's say the power goes out and you're gonna use this thing. All right, so you use it. Well, the power went out. It was out for three hours, I used it. Oh, fantastic, I had a little bit of power, I had some lights going, I plugged in my cell phone, did I need to charge it? Sure, it just happened that your cell phone was dead when the power went out. And that was one, four hours, five hours for one day. And you use that thing. Then six months goes by. Oh, there's a power outage again because I live in an area where the power goes out or whatever. And I used it for five hours. Well, fantastic. So for the other 365 days a year, you just got that thing plugged into your wall. Just sucking power. Charging. You're not using solar at all. It's like a little gimmick for big head, big head, preppers. All right. That's it for now. What are you doing, dude?